Well, it's Black Friday, guys. You know the day when mindless consumers camp out in front of stores for days on end and trample each other to death just to save a couple hundred dollars on merchandise? Days like this that makes me so proud to be an American. Check out some of the most memorable Black Friday moments in recent years. The holiday shopping season got off to a violent start. A temporary Walmart worker was trampled to death by shoppers eager for post Thanksgiving bargains. Seconds after the doors opened, something went dangerously wrong. <laughs> Crazed Black Friday shoppers began piling up on each other. A Black Friday shopper is accused of using pepper spray at a Walmart in Los Angeles. Police say the woman was trying to keep other people away from merchandise that she wanted to buy. What a vile human display. You'd think that after you stomp someone on the ground, you'd stop to help them. But this is America, where people pepper spray and kill each other over the last Tickle Me Elmo on the shelf. What strikes me as the most interesting is that with thousands of people camping, stampeding, and even trampling over each other, you would think that there would be riot cops present to keep the peace. But no, that's only for the people protesting capitalism, not supporting it. It's apparently unacceptable for Occupy Wall Street protesters to camp out on public sidewalks, but not for consumer-driven zombies who feed into the brainless, materialistic culture that makes up American society. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel here. One of the biggest Black Friday shopping havens, Walmart, saw its workers strike today after they were targeted for retaliation for speaking out about substandard work conditions in the company's first ever walkout. And it's about time. While normal citizens are getting laid off left and right during this dragged out recession, CEOs have been totally unaffected. In fact, they've been making out like bandits. According to a recent report by GMI Ratings, CEOs saw their pays spike 15% last year after a 28% rise the year before. Meanwhile, according to the Labor Department, workers saw their wages fall 2% in 2011. According to Huffington Post, income inequality between CEOs and workers has consequently exploded, with CEOs last year earning 209.4 times more than workers compared to just 26.5 times more in 1978, meaning CEOs are taking home a larger percentage of company gains. So look guys, these giant corporations don't care about their workers. So don't you think it's time to start buying from them? This Christmas I implore you, buy local. Buy from independent artists, musicians, mom and pop stores in your neighborhood. That's the real way to get your community to thrive. Because after all, the most important way to vote is not at the ballot box, it's with your wallet.